My name is Scott Moffer, uh, from the Houston area. I actually live in Kima. Uh, spent 10 years in the Marine Corps, co founder of a nonprofit organization for disabled veterans and their families, uh, part of uh, seven boards of directors for other nonprofits. That's really where my strength at it is in the organization and implementation with nonprofits, organizing events, structuring, uh, using the strengths. I'm, you know, my weakness may be your strength. Your strength may be my weakness. Um, the biggest thing that I found in you know talking with Gabriel is, as a parent, we get so wrapped up in I, how this is affecting me, where my voice is in this, and talking with numerous legislators and representatives and, and judges even. You know, I think our strongest point going forward is, is it's not about, I, every time we use the word I, that child has lost a voice. Because the judge or whoever it is that we're talking to is now going to focus on me and not my children. You know, and every organization out there, you know, when we use the word parental, we've immediately taken the focus off the children and put it on the parent. Now that does not invalidate any organization or that work. We're all parents. It's a parental issue. But to get the empathy and sympathy that we're going to need, it has to be child, children, children's rights, child's voice. You know, and, and if anything that I've learned over the last two years of really jumping in and doing this, is that's where we're going to get, A, the masses of support. Because guess what? You're an adult. Suck it up. That's what judges say. That's what lawyers say. That's what the world says. You're an adult. Suck it up and deal with it. But when it comes to our children, I mean, look at the biggest movement going on right now. Children walking out of schools. And all the support that they're getting because that child should have a voice. Our children should have a voice. Well, if we can get a national support for children walking out of school, then what better situation than children's rights when it comes to how I'm raised? Than children's rights of why can't I see both my parents? You know, so that's just the one thing that I want to bring to the table and... and really hope that we can all stand behind is, A, yes, it is about us, but more than us, it's about our children. Because I've got a 21-year-old son, and I don't ever want to see him go through what I've gone through. <clears throat> you know, I want to be able to have a relationship with my, with my grandkids. At some, not right now. I don't have any grandkids anymore. <laughs> but at some point, and I don't want my son to go through what I've gone through. I don't want his kids to go through what I've gone through. And there's no quitting me. There's no quitting me. I was injured in Iraq in 2005. I've had 15 surgeries. There's no quitting me. So this is not just my fight. This is my kids' fight. I am their voice, and I will always be their voice.